Hello everyone, my name is Jesse, and welcome to Plot Twists. So today I'm going to be doing my January TBR a couple of days late, but not too bad. My TBRs are going to be structured a little differently than how I did them last year. Um, my TBR is not going to include any more than four books in a particular month, and that's going to give allow me more room to kind of mood read. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the four books that I'm intending to read for the month of January. So the first one on my TBR is The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. As you can see, I've already started this one. Um, but this is a really interesting um, fantasy novel that is dual perspective in dual time periods. So one of the perspectives is um, the lost apothecary, the name in the title, um, who is living in the 1700s. And in general, she is an apothecary only for women, um, but she also sells uh, poisons, which is pretty interesting. The second perspective is modern day and it's um, a woman who has recently realized that her husband has been unfaithful. Uh, they had planned a trip to Paris together and instead she decides to take the trip all by herself to kind of give herself room to breathe and figure things out. And on one of the first days she's there, she actually finds one of the apothecary bottles from said lost apothecary and decides that as part of this trip, she's going to figure out um, the significance of the bottle, who it belongs to, all that jazz. Um, so far, I'm really, really enjoying this book. Um, I probably will finish this today. I have about a third of the book left to go. Um, and so far, I'm thinking this is probably a three and a half star read. Um, so yeah, Lost Apothecary. The next book that's on the, my TBR for this month is Roxy by Neil Schusterman and his son Jared Schusterman. I don't know a whole lot about this book except that it's going to center around the opioid epidemic. Um, I know that we follow two different characters who are taking opioids for various reasons and I think it has something to do with gods as well. Again, I don't really know. Um, but I am definitely anticipating this being one of my five star reads for the year. Um, the other novel that I read by Neil Schusterman that he wrote with his son, um, was Dry and that's probably in my top 10 favorite books of all time. So I am anticipating this being maybe not quite as good, but definitely the same caliber of book. So look forward to hearing more about this in my January wrap up later this month. The next book that's on my January TBR is Once and Future by Amy Rose Capetta and Corey McCarthy. This book is, from my understanding, an LGBT plus Arthurian retelling. Um, just from reading a little bit on the dust jacket, it looks like this centers with a um, female King Arthur who ends up thrown back into... Um, Old England pulls the sword from the stone and is uh, shown to be the 42nd reincarnation of King Arthur. I don't know a whole lot about it other than that, but I've heard really good things about this book and I'm definitely looking forward to this. Um, again, hear more about it in my January wrap up. And the last book on my January TBR I've been looking forward to since I finished House in the Cerulean Sea, and that is Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune. I don't know a whole lot about this novel, um, but I know that it has something to do with um, the place you go right after you die. Um, and it starts out with the main character um, meeting death at his own funeral, and that's how he figures out that he's probably dead. Um, I'm really looking forward to this one. TJ Klune's writing style really just works for me. Um, or at least it definitely did in House of the Cerulean I think even outside of the pretext of the story, his actual writing is just so fluid. It's easy to read. He 
develops characters so well and the emotions that he portrays in his books are just so realistic. So I have been looking forward to this coming out since um, since I finished House on the Cerulean Sea. So look forward to hearing more about this in my January wrap up as well. Okay, so those are the four books that I uh, definitely have on my TBR for January. I have a whole slew of new options and I will be talking about some of those um, in my next video, which will be my end of the year 2021 book haul, which will include um, a pretty large book haul from Second and Charles, um, the Barnes and Noble 50% off all hardcover sale and the books that I got for Christmas. So look forward to that coming out soon. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys again soon for more content. Bye.